Hello guys, welcome to you. In this video, we are going to see how to dual boot Ubuntu and Windows 10 operating system by the simplest way. I am using Windows 10 operating system and I want to dual boot with the Ubuntu operating system. That is very easy and simple way. First of all, we just download the, our Ubuntu iOS image. So just go to the any web browser and in here in search, just type Ubuntu and just go with the first link. First link is from the Ubuntu.com. Open that link. Okay. Now just go to the Ubuntu website. Here we find Ubuntu website. Here we find download. Just click on the download. Here we find the latest version of the our Ubuntu. The now the latest version is 22.014. In feature version number might be changed. So just go to the latest version of the Ubuntu. Okay, download it. Now our download is started. In few seconds, I have already downloaded it. So I cancel it and I just go to the download folder so i just go to the download and in download i have already downloaded my ubuntu ios image so i just drag this ios image to desktop and close this now i want to download the rufus so just go to the search engine and just here type rufus just type rufus and just click on the rufus okay we want to put this ubuntu operating system to our Pen drive. Okay, so we want a Rufus. So just go to the Rufus and just click on the Rufus.ie. Just go to the Rufus.ie and here we find Rufus website. Scroll down and here we find download and in download section we find the latest version of the Rufus. So just go with the latest version of the Rufus. Rufus 3.21 is the latest version now when I am recording. Okay, now just click on the Rufus. Close this. Now our Rufus is starting downloading on our PC. So just go to the show all, show in a folder and down, drag this Rufus to desktop. Okay. Now close it. Now here is the our Rufus. Here is the our Ubuntu. Now we just go to the, this PC and just our attach your pen drive, your pen drive to your PC. Just attach your pen drive to your PC. Now just go to the Rufus, double click on Rufus. Click on the yes. Now here we find Rufus. It is automatically detect your pen drive. If it is not detect your pen drive, just, just go to the here and just select your pen drive. In this case, my pen drive is 16 GB and it is automatically detect. Okay. Now the next option is select. Select our iOS image. Just select your disk or iOS image from here. Just go to the select and just go to the desktop. And here we find our Ubuntu iOS image just select that double click on it now our iOS image is selected it's automatically detect your partition scheme it is detect my partition scheme is MBR if it's detect GPT then also very good I want MBR so I just go to the MBR if you want to GPT then just go to the GPT just go with the BIOS or UEFI okay okay now just go to the here all things are good now just go to the here and just click on the start and it's take time depending on the speed of your PC, your PC is writing speed. So be a patient and wait for a few minutes. I just click on the start and it's ask. Then click on the OK. Now, once again, it's ask. Click on the OK. It is delete all data that contain on your USB. So be a, beware of this and just back up your data before doing this all tape steps. OK, now just click on the OK. Now our bootable printer is created, creating. It's take time. So be a patient and wait for a few seconds few minutes sorry now our bootable pen drive is created now just click on the close now we want to extend our c drive or the shrink our c drive now just go to the start and right click on it and just go to the disk management just go to the disk management here we find our disk management here is the our c drive and i want to create a some space for our ubuntu that is very easy just right click on it and just go to the shrink value. Just go to the shrink value. I want to create a 100 GB space. So I just type 100 and 6 times 0. If you want to create a 30 GB space, that, that is sufficient. I want to create a 100 GB space. So I just type this number and just click on the shrink. Now I have unlocated space of 97.66 GB and I want to create Ubuntu on this space you can create 30 gb space 30 gb space is 
also very good for the ubuntu operating system so we are going to the close this and just go to the start and just go to the here and restart our machine okay after restart your ubuntu is start automatically your ubuntu installation is starting automatically if your ubuntu installation is not start automatically then just go to the your bios i just give the some bios keep of the major motherboard or the major laptops just go to the your bios key on your laptop or pc and then select your usb pen drive and then your installation is started so i just go to the start and just go to the here and just restart my machine after restart just press your bios key in this case f2 or delete key in my case in your case your bios key must be different so i just press delete key on my keyboard you can press your bios key and just go to the your bios after that i just go to the here boot menu we just go to the select our usb pen drive just select your usb pen drive so just go to the here advanced mode and i just select my usb pen drive this is my pen drive sony storage so i just select that usb pen drive and just click at here and our installation is started now here we want to install ubuntu here we find many option but just go to the scroll down and just go with the first try or install ubuntu and hit enter key on your keyboard now here we find two options try ubuntu and install ubuntu just click on the install ubuntu here we find keyboard layout just go with the english i want to english if you want to any other language then select your language and keyboard layout and just click on the continue here we find many option normal installation and other option download updates while installing ubuntu if you want to download updates while installing ubuntu then select this if you not want this updates then just unselect this i don't want to install updates so i unselect it if you want then select it and just click on the continue here we find many option install ubuntu alongside with the windows 10 it is installed on the same c drive so we just go to the something ls we want to install it on the other drive so we just go to the here and just click on the continue now here we find many options and we want to select our free space i just create a free space on my hard disk with the 100 gb space just select that and just go to the here plus button just go to the here plus button and i want to swap area here is the swap area so just go to the use as and just go to the swap area and i want to create a 1 gb swap area so i just go with the 1059 or 500 mb is also sufficient for the swap area and just click on the ok now our swap area is created at here now we want to create a space for our operating system so just go to the free space again once again and just go to the here plus button and i give the entire space of the free space to this drive and just go with the ext4 ext4 and just click on the here and at the mount point i just select at this okay this black slash okay now just click on the okay now our ext4 partition is created and it is automatically check our operating system is installed on this drive so select uh, we are going to the install now now it's give a permission ask your permission to continue then just click on the continue now just go with the continue now just select your region okay just click at here now just add any name that you like i just type ubuntu you can type any name that you like and you can also type any password that you like just type any password that you like and just click on the continue now our installation is started and it takes 5 or 10 minutes or 10 or 20 minutes depending on the speed of your pc so be a patient and wait for uh, some time and after that uh, we just go to the our windows operating system or ubuntu operating system by the very simplest way so guys wait for a few minutes now our installation is completed just click on the restart now now just remove your usb pen drive and restart your machine now here you find many option if you want to go to ubuntu then just go to the here 
if you want to go to windows 10 then just go to the here i want to go to ubuntu so i just go to the first option ubuntu and just hit enter key on my keyboard for scrolling just press your arrow key up and down arrow key i just go to the ubuntu and press enter key and our ubuntu is started now our ubuntu is started just go to the ubuntu and enter your password and hit enter key now here is the our ubuntu it is started and we can also go to the windows 10 also so guys this is the simplest way to dual boot ubuntu and windows 10 in any windows operating system so guys thank you for watching this video don't forget to like share comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you guys